everyone, so recently I picked up a bunch of stuff from Makeup Revolution, which is like a super, super affordable brand, and a lot of this stuff I find really exceeds my expectations, especially considering how much I pay for it. For example, their contour kit is like one of my favorite things ever, and their little um, metallic eyeshadow pots. You know, you've seen those a million times in my videos. So I went online and bought a full face of makeup to try in a full face first impression today. And I'm really excited. Hopefully we find some more new favorites. And hopefully the foundation shades I have chosen match me. So I actually bought two different primers. I kind of want to try like one on both sides of my face because I can't choose which one I want. I've got the Prime and Hydrate. And then I've got the Radiant Cool Pink Primer. Right now, you can probably hear in my voice, I'm recovering from a cold. I'm still a little bit sniffy and a little bit nasally and gross. And around my nose is so flaky. I'm breaking out. I always break out when I get a cold. It's like so annoying. So yeah, I'm going to do half and half because I just want to feel like what the textures feel like. This one reminds me of um, MAC Prip and Prime. Like just the vibes of it. Ooh, it's real hydrating. Oh my gosh, it smells like coconut. And it has a hyaluronic acid in it, which is really, really good for hydration. Oh my gosh, you know what? It smells really similar to my Hangover Primer by Too Faced. I love that one. Moving along, let's try the other side. This one is the Radiant Cool Pink one. And it's a very subtle pink. It's definitely not like bright pink or anything, you know? Ooh, it looks like sunscreen or something. I probably used way too much. This one's quite hard to blend in, like, I obviously used way too much, but like, it's just streaking up and kind of hard to absorb, like it's not absorbing properly. Yeah, this side, I don't like so much. I love this one. So I chose two foundations straight away. This one definitely looks too dark for me. This one is called Foundation Drops. This one here is called Full Cover Camouflage Foundation. The shade is F6, I believe, and I'm just gonna, I probably should have wet my sponge. I'm just going to start petting this out. Ooh. That is full coverage, okay. I think I used way too much once again. I didn't use that much, did I? Blending out really effortlessly, considering it's like full coverage or marketed as full coverage. The color is actually like pretty good. It's almost a little bit too pale for me. Um, and I don't have fake tan on right now, so that's interesting. I thought it was gonna be too dark. I'll come back once it's fully blended in and we'll have a look. So the foundation itself, I think, is quite matte. On this side of my face, it looks more matte, which is the side with the pink primer. On this side, with the primer I really liked, it's a little bit more glowy. So yeah, I really like the way this side looks. It blended out easy on both sides. It actually is like impressing me quite a bit. I feel like it's already starting to like settle into expression lines. That's one thing that's not so good. But other than that, like the coverage is amazing. I would compare it to like the Kat Von D Locket or the Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Foundation, something like that. We have this Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour. And I love the packaging of this one. It's in like this pinky metallic tube. I was like, what is this called? And I got the shade C2. So it comes on like a giant doe foot applicator. And straight off the bat, it feels very like liquidy and creamy. Ooh, good color. It's covering nicely. It's brightening really well. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it does feel quite hydrating on me. Like, it doesn't feel dry. It's not hard to blend. It's super easy to blend. So next up, I've got this um, luxury baking powder in the shade Lace. And I don't usually go for proper baking powder, but I needed like an under icing powder, so this is what I chose. And I'm just taking some on my little small face brush. You can use your sponge too. I don't know. I'm just using it like I would normally use an under eye powder. I'm not really baking. I'm just sitting. <laughs> Okay, that's definitely a little bit drying under there. It's not like terrible, but it's definitely showing up my under eye creases a little bit more dramatically right now. So next up for powder, I've got this Revolution Pro Pressed Finishing Powder. You can see it's just a translucent one, so let's give it a go. I don't normally go for translucent powder, but I just thought for the purpose of this video it'd be safe. So I'm just stamping my brush at it. Ooh. And then just gently tapping it on my skin just to set the foundation in place. Oh my gosh, I sound so much worse than I feel right now, you guys. Like, I don't feel this shit, but it's like, <clears throat> croaky. I feel like it's definitely giving me a little bit of a white cast. And I'm not a huge fan of the finish. If you like a super matte finish, you will like this better than I do. just feel like it's made me look kind of grey and just tired. Like, it's made my skin look... I don't know, it's just like emphasized all my pores and stuff. I don't like this one. So now that I've done that, let's just like revive my skin a little bit. I did pick up this Pro Fix Illuminating Fixing Spray and I'm hoping this will work well and will brighten up my skin a little bit. Let's just check the mist. Oh, give it a little test because there was definitely a whole lot of 
like blobs just then. Okay, so it's definitely not the best like spray. It's not super fine. It feels quite wet. I did put a lot on, but I always do. But the actual finish of my skin, like it definitely looks a little bit better. It doesn't look so cakey and powdery now. Let's do some brows and stuff. I do have all of the contouring things, but I want to work on my eye makeup before I do my contouring. So today is actually mine and Hamish's sixth anniversary. So for my eye makeup, I'm going to be going for something quite smoldery, sexy, pretty, smoky. I don't know. We've got some really beautiful colors here. I'm so excited to try out these palettes. We've got a very warm one. And then I also got this one in case I want to do something a little bit more cool tone. Just because, I don't know, I feel like I don't often go cool. And look how cool this packaging is. I actually really like it. And then the final one, which I feel like there's some gorgeous shades in here as well. Um, this one here, bold as brass. Let's first do the brows. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I have a brow tint and a brow definer. So let's give it a go. So this is um, in the shade Soft Brown. Oh my god, it's an eyebrow cushion. <sighs> okay, I'm excited. So if you don't know this, I love the um, iconic London brow cushion. It's one of my favorite brow products other than all my Benefit ones. That's the only other like holy grail brow product I have that's not Benefit. But I've run out of it and I still need to repurchase it. It's always sold out. So let's see if this is a good dupe for that one. Oh my god, the color looks so good. So here's how the color looks. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, it's super pigmented. Oh my gosh. Honestly, if I like this, this is a game changer. That means I can just buy this one. It's so cheap. I think the um, Iconic Lond Ugh, London one is quite expensive, but it's worth it to me because it's so good. And I don't mind spending a bit on brow products because they do last forever. But I mean, oh my god, look, it's so good. So do I like this? Yes. I definitely want to see if there's a different color. I feel like this one's ever so slightly too warm. And I am concerned on how much product you get. I feel like there's not a lot in here. But I would definitely want to check it out some more um, and continue to use that. So yeah. Yeah, under my eyes looks so bad right now. Can you see all the creasing? I don't know if it's the concealer, the powder, or both. But... That sucks. Let's do some eye primer. I bought this Revolution Pro Eye Elements Eye Base. It looks like Painterly Paintboard or something like that. I'm just going to use it on a flat eye brush. Makes a beauty. Let's look at the texture. It feels quite creamy. Yeah, it's super creamy. You can use your finger with these products, of course, but I've got long nails, so I can't, like, dip into the product properly. The product actually feels quite, like, balmy. The actual coverage is really good too. Like, I'm covering all of my vein. Like, even though the concealer obviously covered most of it, there was still some pinkness. I feel like it's definitely covering it up. It's kind of, like, too creamy. Like, it really just keeps going and going and streaks up a little bit because it's so creamy. Like, I can't seem to get it just, like, stay put. It's starting to kind of set now, and now it's a little bit more manageable. I feel like you just have to give it a little bit of time just to, like, dry down. I might start with the shade Cool. So, once again, this is the Cool It Down palette by Makeup Revolution. So I'm going in with a crease blender brush and I'm just going to pop that straight into the crease and start blending it out. It's blending very easy. And the color, it's not like 10 out of 10 pigment, but it's good pigment and it's easily layered up. It's really easy to blend. I'm gonna take a small amount of the shade Mellow just to warm up the crease and darken it a tiny bit. I don't want it to be super warm, but just a little bit. Oh my god, the under eye creasing just keeps getting worse and worse. I'm going to take a little bit of the shade Calm and I'm going to start blending that on the outer corner. That one is super pigmented, really deep, but it's still quite easy to blend. I feel like if anything, the eye shows a tiny bit patchy, but it could just be the dry eyelids that I am working with. Okay, next up, I'm going to go in with... Loving both of these shades, like the purple and then this color. Let's see how pigmented... Ooh. So pretty. Okay, maybe I can use it in a corner. Let's go in with the shade Shiver. I'm going to try and use most of the shades on this palette, except I'm probably not going to use the silver because I'm not a huge silver fan. It's not really pigmented on a brush. Let's try it with our finger. Yeah, that's better. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just patting that straight onto my eyelid. I'm going to do the other one. I don't know if I want to bring it all the way into the inner corner or not. I might take that other crisp color that I swatched before. And put that on the inner corner and just the beginning of my eyelid. This one's more pigmented with a brush too, which is strange. I am now going to first take Cool, which is the colour we mostly use in our crease. And I'm going to sweep that quite heavy underneath. Because the creasing is real right now. The under eye concealer creasing. And this is my trick. 
to disguise it. And <clears throat> then I, sorry, oh my god, I'm disgusting. I am going to use the shade Roots, which is the deep purple. Hopefully it's pigmented. I'm just going to run that straight underneath the lash line. I feel like these just don't transfer well with a brush. Like the shimmer just doesn't really show up as much. But if you use your finger, it like presses it on better. Let's try it. my brush with a little bit of the setting spray on it <clears throat> to wet it down a little. That definitely helps a little bit. So this is just going to make my lower lash line quite nice and smoky. I really like this colour. And then I'm going to take a little bit and put it on my outer corner as well, kind of. Last colour, I'm just going to use a brow bone highlight shade. This one here, Scape. I feel like this one's not very pigmented at all. Overall, this palette, it's not my favourite. Like, you can work with it. But I feel like you have to work kind of hard, if you know what I mean. So for eyeliner, I have this one. This is a multi-liner brights. Brights? Is it bright? Four bright color retractable liners. Oh gosh. What have I done? A blue, a purple, a green, and a silver. I guess I'm going to go with the purple. Let's see what the quality is like. Okay. Of course I wouldn't just buy, like, a nude. <laughs> It's a pretty colour, it's a very like um, pinky purple, it kind of like makes me look a little bit sick. But the actual quality is okay, it's like creamy. I feel like this doesn't look right though, like I'm already sick and I feel like this is making me look sicker. Cause I'm just going to go in with um, a nude and go over top of it. Okay, before we finish off the eye makeup, I've got liquid eyeliner and mascara. I just want to do some face makeup. So, we have this palette here, which I really want to try. This is called the You've Got This, and it just looks really pretty. I hope it's as good as my other Makeup Revolution palette I love. And I also bought this, like, little single contour shade as well. And I have this Chocolate Desire Bronzer Powder, which smells like chocolate. And you guys know me, I don't like huge things. I didn't realize how huge it was going to be. And I don't know why anyone needs this much bronzer. It's huge. I'm going to try the shade Spirit. It's a little bit warmer. And I'm going to bronze with this one. I'm just using this Chula powder brush. It's easy to blend. My skin looks very dry right now, you guys. Like, so, so dry. I feel like the foundation's kind of coming off a little bit as I blend on the bronzer. Just before I contour, I'm going to use blush. I've got this one here. Wow. I think you can put these into like a palette. This is in the shade Fancy. And it is a beautiful like apricot kind of shade. Yeah, that's so pretty. First, I'm going to use the shade Goals and try contouring with it. Oh, it's quite orange. Okay, I'm not the biggest fan of that contour shade. I'm going to try this one, which is called Contour Powder Light. This color is definitely a little bit better. In the actual pan, they look so, so similar. But yeah, this one's definitely a little bit more gray, so it's a little bit better. So for highlighter, let's try a little bit of the pink one. Screw it. Oh, wow, that's blinding. I'm going to mix a little bit of the shade Ace on top, which is like that apricot kind of highlighter color. I mean, if you like blinding, you will like it. It's very shimmery, but it's blinding AF. Okay, moving on to eyeliner. The eyeliner I picked up is the Supreme Dip Liner in black. Hopefully it's a brush tip applicator. Yes. Okay, so, well, it's not a brush tip. It's one of those, like, flexible kind of, like, I don't even know what to call it, like, felt almost. It's actually kind of hard to use. It's quite firm, and it's so small, like... I don't know how I feel about this. So I've kind of done one eye and honestly, this is not my favorite. It's quite a watery formula. It's going quite streaky and it's kind of irritating my eyes to use because the brush or like felt thing is quite stiff and it's just like scratching my eye. It's taking me quite a while to apply and it's just not my favorite. So I'm just gonna like touch it up using a different eyeliner right now. I'm just gonna use my Tartist one and I'll be right back. So that's on and I just spritzed my face with some more setting spray. Feels really nice. It smells a little bit fat, but it just feels really good. So the mascara I picked up is called Amazing Curve and I have no idea like what's this going to be like. Oh, that's so satisfying when it all comes off. The brush. Oh, it's like a banana. How do I use it? Okay. I feel like it's real thin and it's not like going on. Okay, I'm not the biggest fan of this mascara because it's taking a while to build it up. Like, it looks pretty once it's on, but like, it's just so much effort. I like mascara where I can just be like, dunk, dunk, and it's on. It's not covering all my lashes. I can see my blonde eyelashes, like, underneath. It's just not gripping onto them. It's so weird. I haven't had this issue before. Like I said, though, once it's on, like, it looks good. It's just, like, a lot of work once again. I quite like it on my lower lashes because the one makes it really easy to apply on the lower lashes, but I'm not sold for my top lashes. It just took a while and... Like, meh, whatever. I'm probably going to put on falsies anyway because I want to look nice and glam and pretty for later. So, for the lips, 
which is the final step. We have this Obsession Makeup London Matte Naked Lip Kit, Lip Liner and Liquid Lipstick Kit. And this is in the shade Bunny Girl and the packaging is adorable. First off there is the liner in Bunny Girl. Looks quite dark, which I'm confused about because the liquid lipstick is so pale. It's nice and creamy so far. It's definitely a little bit patchy, like I can see it like gripping onto random areas. So yeah, the actual lip liner colour is nice, it's just streaky. So let's try the liquid lipstick on top now. It's like quite a lot lighter, but I'm okay with that because I quite like a darker lip liner. It's got a really bad smell. You can't smell it once it's like starting to dry, it's just like as soon as you put it on. So I'll let that dry down and in the meantime I'm just going to put on some of my favourite product on my inner corner. This is the rose gold colour. I use a little q-tip and just press it on and it's super opaque and super, super sparkly. So the lipstick's dried completely matte. It's a little bit sticky if you press your lips together but you only notice that if you're pressing your lips together, like just talking you can't tell and yeah. That's basically the finished look. I am going to add some lashes though, so I'll be right back. So, I definitely liked the eyeshadows. They weren't my favourite thing. Um, but I do like the way it came out. The lipstick is fine. It's not the best quality, but it looks pretty good once it's on. I feel like a lot of the products are like good. You just have to work a little bit harder with them to get them to look perfect. But they're not... Bad. Does that make any sense? Like, it's just a little bit more effort required. I really liked the primer on it this side, the HD, no not HD, sorry, the Pro. Um, and I liked the foundation. I feel like it would look amazing with my Mac Studio Fix powder. I didn't like that translucent powder I used. The concealer felt really creamy and I want to try it again with my normal setting powder because I don't think I liked the setting powder, the loose one. The liquid eyeliner, not a big fan. Really liked the brow cushion. I thought that was really good. Yeah, I liked the single contour thing as well. I definitely prefer my other contour kit than this one here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I also quite like this. I don't know, like it leaves my skin looking nice and it's just like addictive because it's so like refreshing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what other brands you would like to see me do a full face first impression from. Especially if it's like a lesser known brand like you know like an indie brand or like something like that. I would love to try some new stuff out so definitely let me know or you can tweet me or whatever and yeah I'll talk to you guys in my next video.